everybody and welcome to Mish's Market Minute. My name is Michelle Schneider. I'm your market analyst. Today is Thursday, April 15th. Happy Tax Day. So we're looking first at a picture of the spiders and I put this up here because you can see that this has been a beautiful parabolic move up and yet we do have a very big ascending trend line to keep note of but at this point other than the fact that we continue to have lighter volume on the up days than we do on the down days I still would have to play this from the long side unless we saw some kind of a substantial break of this trend line on a closing basis. I'm putting up P&W because I did a video on it earlier this week and it's a curious little stock because it hasn't really done very much considering the movement of the market yesterday. It didn't really follow through and today was an inside day to yesterday. We have a low here of 37.71 that was made yesterday on the open. Today's low is 37.75, so clearly this is your risk right here. We still have that 10-day moving average at 38.23, and I actually think that if we got to see that penetrate the 10-day moving average, we might actually see some interest in this stock. But for right now, if you want to buy it against these lows, you certainly know what your risk is. Now, those of you who follow me on Twitter know I got out of Google today ahead of the earnings report. I'd been selling a little bit on the way up, finally took the last piece off at 595, and I can tell you if you look up here, it's the aftermarket, earnings have come out, it's now trading down $22.75 at 566, which it's, means it's below all of this stuff right here. And that is the reason why you never ever hold a stock into earnings. The stock I'm looking at for tomorrow is DV Devrique Inc. And you can see that this had a big gap up three days ago. There was some news it was upgraded by Credit Suisse. And so this is already doing very well. And I just want to make mention that this has earnings coming out in a week from today. So note that on your calendar if you actually get into this position that you have to be out of this one before the earnings on 422, which means though that we have a week. And so what I like about this is it made its big move up after that news about the upgrade and then has had two inside days in a row to that one, which tells me a couple of things. Number one is if we take out today's high, which was 7091, even though we'll have a little bit of resistance up here by the high, I think it could have enough power to go through, especially ahead of the earnings if the anticipation is that the earnings is good. The other thing that I like is that you have a very clear risk here of $70. And so I would be a buyer above today's high, risking down to right underneath $70. You have an ATR of $1.57, so that gives you just about a little bit more than a half an ATR. This is a mini swing trade because like I said, you're out before earnings. Now of course on the reverse side, if we break $70, I wouldn't necessarily go short, but I would not want to be a buyer unless we continue to see that hold and through today's high. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. There'll be no video on Friday, so you have a wonderful weekend. Happy trading and bye for now.